Now, this mower here, you can see on our MTD 760, nice tight steering. I recently reshimmed it. I put a new bicycle chain for the clutch because that whole chain was junk. The dash is almost mint, which is really nice. It's got this brace here, takes the pressure off the dash. The uh, rear axle has all new bearings, uh, seals, and brand new shift rails in it. So that's completely rebuilt. The clutch is rebuilt. We got all cleaned up, redone. A new throwout bearing up in here. That's replaced. Um, I also have another one, uh, another assembly that's all rebuilt with new shafts, even because the one the shaft was actually bad, so the other one has new shafts and bearings and everything. Uh, a lot of extra parts here. Uh, the steer or not the steer the engine it fits decent in the tractor but here's the thing the big thing um you can see on the bump nose obviously a couple issues you have flat sides and you and they originally had a just a single cylinder the opposing twin comes out so that means this either needs to be notched or the covers need to be altered. I really don't like altering the covers because that takes away airflow. I could, but I, I just kind of prefer not to. The other thing, uh, the opposing twin, it's a deeper engine. So, Basically, um, I'm not going to be able to run any uh, attachments off the front PTO like you would have been able to with the single cylinder. Because the single cylinder, it sat back farther. Now, with the opposing twin, basically the crankshaft is right up into this, pretty much. So... It ain't going to fit with the uh, opposing twin. So what I got to do, this has to come off, the pulley and the hub. And then I have this, which is my airflow, or a little extra bit of cooling. Uh, since this comes out six inch past the hole, it ends up putting this into this general area, which would mean this lower rib would have to be notched and it had to be notched here so it's given me a few issues where either I can kind of hack this grill up a little bit or I can modify this and take this whole thing off but I really rather keep that because it helps to pull extra air in uh, so that's one of my things I'm figuring and I know I have to cut these off and move the holes over for the bottom of the grill because these holes for the grill are actually where the front bolts are pretty much sitting now for the opposing twin so the, the biggest thing for this build is pretty much modifying the grill now, obviously, the way the engine sets, the crankshaft is longer on this, so I have to shorten the crankshaft by roughly an inch. That's, you know, no big deal. Make sure you don't cut too much. And then since these use a roll pin and a key, you have to make sure you find the center of the crankshaft with it in the, the key in the right position and drill straight through so you can get the roll pin on. Because that's what keeps it from sliding. So... This part isn't that big a deal. I've done it before with other engines for the MTDs, shortening the crank and reeling the roll pins. The only thing I haven't done before 
is the heavy grill modification. So we will figure that out as we go.